Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about how to reproduce a given defect or a bug. It is a very important activity which normally every software tester would they do in their day to day activity. Then how will we ensure that we are able to accurately reproduce a defect in our test environment. As a tester, we will be logging the defect by providing all the information in your defect report and we will be giving it to the development team. And developer will fix the issue and they will hand over to us and we will be retesting the defect. That is a very easy situation uh, in order to reproduce a defect. And think about an another situation which is a difficult situation when customer is able to reproduce the issue but you are not able to reproduce that issue. Now, how will you handle that kind of situation? Customer will be testing it on the production environment with the right set of data in their environment, but they are able to find a critical issues in their system, but we are not able to find the same issue in our testing environment. Now, how will you handle that situation? This is a very crucial situation every tester will face in their lifetime. Now we will try to understand when the situation is something like this, when customer is able to reproduce the issue, but we are not able to reproduce the issue. Now, what are the various things we should do? What are the various steps we should take to ensure that we are able to reproduce that issue? The first thing we should do all the time is, we should be able to gather as much information possible from the customer because it is not just some uh, defect is not reproducible. They should also ensure that they should give enough information for you to reproduce. Sometimes they may give only two or three lines of uh, text in the defect report. With that information definitely we cannot reproduce the issue. Now what we should do is we should be able to reach out to them with uh, all the channels like you can reach out to them with the email or you can reach out to with them in the mobile phone or you can set up a conference call with the customer and gather the information whatever the options which is available in your organization to contact with the customer you can do that then you should gather as much as information from them one is uh, what kind of scenario with they executed that is step to reproduce step one step two step three what are the various steps which they perform during that situation they are able to reproduce the issue plus what kind of uh, different set of environment they have they have they have the same release environment or they have different uh, browser configuration with their testing it or different uh, operating system version which they are using. You should gather as much as information in terms of a step to reproduce plus information on the infrastructure which they are using. That is the first thing we should do. Then the second thing we should also do is you should ask them various logs available in the system. Especially one is the system log itself. Then the second log is your application log or your web server log to get as much as information which we gather from those logs as well to reproduce the issue. That is the second thing we should do in order to reproduce the issue. Then the next thing we should ask them is what kind of data they have used because the data places a very crucial role in order to reproduce the defects or a bug. So you should also ask them for what kind of data, what kind of action, sometimes what happens, right? There are certain situation, there are certain issues, there are certain issues will reproduce after doing certain operation 10 times or after doing certain operation 20 times or after doing operation continuously for a day, then when we are trying to do some other operation, that time also we will be able to identify or reproduce the issues. Because of that, you should ask for sequence of action or what are the various activity which they done in last uh, couple of hours or couple of days before they try to execute this scenario. That will also give certain indication why that issue is getting generated. We should also check for what kind of user 
is logged into the application when we are testing it whether user is an just an end user or whether user is an admin user what kind of the privileges that user is having it and what kind of configuration that individual user can do it what are the different configuration that user is already done in that uh, application all these really matters in order to reproduce the issue you should also check for the catching in the browser because there are many issues normally we are able to reproduce or we are not able to reproduce if there is a cache is different if we certain if sometime if we clear the cache then system will start working sometime because of cache because of cache we are not able to reproduce that issue as well you should look those aspects as well and there are certain operations especially if you are trying to use back button front button back and fro buttons if you are using in the browsers then definitely that time also we will be seeing a different uh, scenarios in your system i hope now you guys have got a clear idea how to reproduce even the complex issues if you just follow whatever the steps which i talked about if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care